Hi everyone, my name is Francesca Ferrando. I teach philosophy at NYU Program of Liberal Studies. And I am very honored to be with you in this incredible journey of how to write a paper. More specifically, how to write an excellent paper that is not going to be a joy for you to write, but a joy for your professor and your readers to read. We have been uh, you know, addressing different topics and having different exercises. A lot of these exercises were to be done before writing a paper. Some of them were to be done during the uh, writing of the paper, the flow of writing the paper. This specific exercise is to be done at the end of the journey, once the paper is ready. I want you to have this intention with joy read my paper, read my paper at least three times. This is you telling to yourself, you're getting towards the end of the journey, you're tired, you will need at least one day or two to separate yourself from the paper because otherwise it's still too, too close to you to, in order for you to access this exercise. So do not read your paper just after writing it. Take one day if you can, don't wait last minute to write. Time is the most, impre impre the most precious ingredient in writing a good paper. Do not wait last minute. Make sure that this is a process, is a flow that you can really mm, be part of to expand your capabilities of expressing your voice. So if we consider this as a journey that you have started in good timing, you will have at least one day before submitting your paper. So wait and once the paper is, is done, take one day, take a little separation, go for a walk. If you don't have a full day, at least take a couple of hours, do something else, do a meditation, take a walk at the forest, go and do some exercises, whatever works for you, but don't read it just after writing it. And then you're going to have the intention of read my paper at least three times. That's the intention I want you to have, not only only once and not one after the time after the other. You, you're going to read your, your paper one time, you're going to make the changes you need. If you can wait a little time again, maybe if you read in the morning, then read it in the evening. Possibly read it the next day, at least three times if you can before submitting your paper. If you're really talking about using this as a process of perfecting your tools, read it at least three times. And here I want, once you read it the first time, to uh, take your journal out and really very short, uh, think of uh, literally three lines. Do not stress yourself with this, but journal about the impression that you had the, about the paper. What, what is that works? What is that doesn't work? Be humble, be honest with yourself. And this is why it's very important to take some time, not just as soon as you write it, because once you, you if, if you write this, just after you have written the, the, the paper, you're still too much part of the process. It's hard to separate, but be with the witness. Be the one who did not rewrite the paper. You are going to be now the reader. Even better if you have maybe a friend or a family member or someone who would like to read your, your paper and give you feedback before submitting it, either to your professor or to the journal, even better. Having more eyes, more eyes always see more than two eyes. If you do not have that opportunity, do not worry, just take time. Don't just write it and read it immediately. Ideally, you want to read it three times. And after each time, take literally five minutes to journal about the impression that you had about the, pop, the paper. Was that boring? Was that engaging? Uh, did it flow right? Uh, did it feel too, 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 too short, too long? What, was it clear what you were really trying to express? So journal your impressions, your feedback, literally three to four lines. Don't stress yourself, just take everything out. And then take some time, if you can one day, if you cannot take a day, take at least a couple of hours, go again for your beautiful walk or for your exercise or whatever you need, then go back, reread it, and boom again, write your impression. So that you can really, and then of course, edit your paper accordingly. So before rereading your paper, you want to edit your paper. So steps is you read it. Feedback, you can edit right away and then go for a walk. Then one more day, you know, you take one day if you po possibly, the day after you read it again, you write your feedback and you edit accordingly. And the last time is when it's really your last touch, the last little spice that you want to put, put on this amazing dinner that you have cooked for, uh, for your loved ones, that is your wording, that is your intentions, that is your argument. 
that is your vision at this stage of your life. This is also for you a beautiful gift for yourself of the future to go back and to read this paper and to really remember where you were at. But it's much more than that because papers really have a very, very important role and they carry their message well beyond our own lives. So take it this seriously, take it with joy, enjoy the process of writing, enjoy the process of editing, and more than anything, enjoy your, your paper. If you read it and you do not enjoy, then you need to change something. Because remember always, if you did not enjoy your paper, no one is going to enjoy it. No one. If you enjoy your paper, most likely, most people are going to enjoy it as well. But you should enjoy it not because you wrote it. That's why take some distance. Be the witness of this incredible journey of writing. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm sure that you're all going to be write exceptional papers. My name is Francesca Ferrando, and uh, I am very, very proud of all of you. Thank you.